In this video, we will install Solid Thinking Embed, Texas Instruments Code Composer Studio, and the Texas Instruments Uniflash application. We will demonstrate how these applications are used to blink an LED on the Texas Instrument F28069M launchpad board using an embed example model running in RAM and Flash. The Solid Thinking Embed CodeGen feature allows you to generate fixed and floating point C code for any block diagram and execute it on a microcontroller. These installation instructions explain how to install and configure STE to work with three Texas Instruments microcontroller families, the C2000, the MSP430, and the TM4C12 ARM Cortex dual core microcontroller. The generated C code may be executed either from RAM or Flash. We will explain both configurations. Before proceeding with the installation, please confirm the following. You have internet connectivity. Your PC operating system is WinXP or newer. You have at least 1.5 gigabytes free disk space. Any existing copies of Texas Instrument Code Composer Studio are removed from your PC and five, a Texas Instrument F28069M Launchpad Experimenter Board, shown at the right, is connected using the supplied USB to your PC. We'll use this to test the installation. Installation of the Solid Thinking Embed software for Texas Instruments microcontrollers is a three-step process that must be executed in the following order. First, install the Texas Instrument Code Composer Studio application. Next, install Solid Thinking Embed. And last, install the Texas Instrument Uniflash application. We'll begin with the installation of Code Composer Studio. Navigate to the following link. Under Release 7.1.0, select the most recent build number, then select Windows from the offline installers. It is just under 800 megabytes, so it may take some time to download. After the download completes, navigate into the CCS 7.1.0 Win32 folder. Unzip the installation files by clicking ccssetup.exe. Select Extract All. Accept the default name for the extraction folder. Accept the license agreement. Accept the default name for the CCS install folder. Solid Thinking Embed supports three product families, the C2000, the MSP430, and the ARM Cortex Dual Core. Select these three and click Next. Debug probes are software applications that work with Code Composer Studio to provide a way for users to inspect the inner details of a TI digital processor. The default probes are already checked. Check any of the remaining probes if you plan to use them, and then click Finish. The installation will take a few minutes, but complete successfully. Now we'll install Solid Thinking Embed. Navigate to the Solid Thinking link and click Request a Trial. Fill out the request form and submit it. A link to your trial license will be emailed to you shortly. Once you receive the email, Click on the link to get your trial license, and then click on the link for the Embed Installer Package. After the download completes, open the Installer Package. Close any existing versions of Solid Thinking Embed. Don't worry, you've already installed Code Composer Studio, which contains the C compiler mentioned here. Select the embedded targets you plan to use. Select any communication modules you plan to use. Select the installation folder. The default name is recommended. Accept the license agreement. You can back up a previous installation if you want to. I'm not going to. Select the start menu name. The default name is recommended. We're ready to install. Click Next. If Microsoft Visual C++ is installed, the DLL block wizard will also be installed. Click OK and files will be installed. Adding a desktop icon is recommended, and the installation is successful. Now we'll test the CCS and STE installations by running an LED blink example out of RAM. If you haven't already, 
Connect the F28069M launch pad to your PC using the supplied USB cable. Launch Solid Thinking Embed. From the embedded drop down menu, navigate to Examples, Piccolo, Blink. Open the Blink launch pad 28069M model. This model will blink the red LED at 1 Hz. The square wave block produces a control signal to the red LED accessible through GPIO 34. The square wave frequency is set to 1 Hz, which means the LED will remain on for half a second and off for half a second. With the model open, under the Tools menu, select CodeGen. In the Code Generation Properties window, the name of the C code file defaults to the name of the model and the location to the settings specified during the installation. Click Compile on the Build Progress is displayed in the DOS window. Once the build process has completed, press any key to close the DOS window and continue. Back at the Code Generation Properties window, click Download to create the .out executable file. In the Download to F280X window, click Download to load the .out file into RAM and begin execution. In the last section of this video, we'll install the Texas Instrument Uniflash application. In addition to Code Composer Studio, Uniflash is required if you need to run your target model from Flash instead of RAM. It is recommended that you use Uniflash 3.x versions as they have been tested with solid thinking. In this training, we will install version 3.4. To begin the installation, we'll first navigate to the link. Scroll down and under the Installation Instructions section, select CCS Uniflash version 3.4.1 offline version. After the download completes, navigate into the Uniflash Win32 folder. Click Uniflash Setup.exe to unzip the installation files to your PC. Select Extract All. Accept the default extraction folder name. The files are extracted. Navigate back to the Uniflash Win32 folder and click the Setup Executable to begin the installation. Accept the license agreement and click Next. Select the installation folder. The default name is recommended. Solid Thinking Embed supports three product families, the C2000, the MSP430, and the Kiva Stellaris Cortex, also known as the ARM Cortex Dual Core. Select these three and click Next. Check any probes if you plan to use them and click Next. Click Next to begin the installation. The installation will take a few minutes and complete successfully. Now we'll test the Uniflash installation by running the same LED blink example, except for this test we'll run it out of flash. If you haven't already, connect the F28069M launchpad to your PC using the supplied USB cable. Next launch ST Embed. From the Embedded drop-down menu, navigate to Examples, Piccolo, Blink, and open the Blink Launchpad 28069M model. With the model open, under the Tools menu, select CodeGen. In the Code Generation Properties window, we need to check the Target Flash option. All other settings are identical to those used in the previous example where this model was loaded into RAM. Click Compile and the Build Progress is displayed in the DOS window. Due to the target flash selection, this build process creates an executable file called a .out file that executes from flash. The .out file is created in the slash CG folder, which stands for CodeGen, located in the folder where Solid Thinking Embed was installed. In our case, this folder was selected on the C drive and named STEmbed2017. Press any key to close the DOS window and continue. Now we'll fire up Uniflash from the Start menu to load the .out file into flash memory. Since this is the first time we've run Uniflash with this target, you'll need to select New Target Configuration from the Quick Start Guide. In the New Configuration window, the connection is set to Texas Instrument XDS100 V2 USB Debug Probe. And since we're using the F28069M launchpad, the board or device is set to Experimenters Kit Piccolo F28069. 
To save your configuration, navigate to the File drop-down menu and select Save Target Configuration. The next time you use Uniflash, you can just access that configuration file instead of retyping in connection and board or device. Now navigate to the Program drop-down menu and select Load Program. When prompted for the file name, navigate to the stembed2017-cg folder and locate the .out file you just created. By default, it will have the same name as Solid Thinking Embed Model with the .out extension. Click OK to continue, and the write to flash memory begins. When the write is complete, the Uniflash Debug Console window will display Operation Writing Flash Memory Returned. This indicates the model has been successfully loaded into flash memory. Power cycle the launchpad board and you'll observe the red LED blinking at a frequency of 1 Hz. Before leaving, let's repeat this example with the LED blink frequency set to 3 Hz. First, we'll navigate back to our model and set the frequency equal 3 in the square wave properties. Under the Tools menu, select Code Gen, making sure the Target Flash option is checked. Click Compile and the build progress is displayed in the DOS window. Press any key to close the DOS window and continue. With Uniflash already running, navigate to the Program drop-down menu and select Load Program. Navigate to the stembed2017cg folder and select the new .out file you just created. Click Open and the Write to Flash memory will begin. Confirm the write is successful by observing the Operation Writing Flash Memory Return message in the Uniflash debug window. Power cycle the launch pad and you'll observe the LED blink frequency of 3 Hz. For more information on Solid Thinking Embed and training videos like this one, please visit our website at www.solidthinking.com/embed. Thank you.